Hello everybody and welcome to Sunday School. I'm so happy that you're here today. Today's a really special day in the church. We're celebrating the day of Pentecost. Can you guys say that with me? Pentecost. Pentecost. It's a weird word, but it's the celebration of the Holy Spirit. And it's also the celebration of the birthday of the Christian church. What an amazing thing. And it's such a great thing to celebrate today. So here we're going to get started with our story. The Holy Spirit. Jesus' disciples were celebrating a festival called Pentecost when suddenly a strong wind blew through the house. Everyone's hair lifted up and there was an amazing noise. They looked at each other. It looked like each disciple had a flame of fire touching him, but no one was burned. The Holy Spirit had come just as Jesus had promised. The disciples began to speak in different languages, languages they'd never heard. And stranger yet, they could understand each other. Peter then stood up. I want to tell you about Jesus, he said. He reminded everyone what Jesus had taught them. He told them how Jesus died and lives again. It's time for us to begin a new life with God's Spirit guiding us, Peter said. The disciples were excited to live differently, guided by God's Spirit. This was the very beginning of the Christian church. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm in a special place today. I'm in the, over in the fireside room, and we have our fire ablaze right here as a reminder of the Holy Spirit and God's presence with us. And as our story reminds us today, amazing things happened when God's Holy Spirit came. Wind came, hair lifted up, flame was seen over people's heads. Can you believe that? They could speak new languages and they understood each other too. And amazing, amazingly, God gave us the power and the responsibility to be his church and to carry on God's ministry, to love everyone in the world. But we don't do that alone because that's not a small task. God is with us always through the power of the Holy Spirit. And so that's what the celebration of Pentecost is all about. And so to celebrate a little bit more, we're going to sing a couple songs. All right, good morning, you guys. So. We are going to learn a new song today, um, and it is called We Are Marching in the Light. It's also called Sia Hamba, which is the Zulu name of the song because it's originally from South Africa. So we're not going to learn a new language. We're going to start with the English, but the words are this. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. Then you repeat it, and then you sing, we are marching. Ooh, we are marching in the light of God. So that's it. It's really simple. And then we're gonna do a bunch of different ones along with it. So we're gonna start with marching. And it sounds like this. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. You repeat it. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. Let's try that much together. And so what you can do with your actions is you can walk in place. You can't really see my feet right now, but you can walk, to, walk in place for we are marching. And then I want you to point up like it's the, like you're pointing at the sun in the light of God, okay? So we're gonna do that. We are marching, let's try it together. Here we go, two, three. We are marching in the light of God. 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 Okay, probably pretty easy, right? So then it goes into what we're going to call the B section, the second section. And we hear this cool thing at the piano. Doesn't it sound like we're gonna go on to something else? So then you sing. We are marching. Ooh, we are marching in the light of God. We are marching. Ooh, we are marching in the light of God. 
So let's try that. We are marching. Here we go. Two, three. We are marching. So you remember to go back to it. You can go like this. We are marching, marching, we are marching. Ooh, we are marching in the light of God. We are marching, marching, we are marching. Ooh, we are marching in the light of God. Okay, if it's too much to do that marching, we are marching, you can just leave that part out. But in case you want a challenge, looking at you. So we're going to do the whole thing together. Remember, you're going to be marching in the light of God. Super simple actions, okay? So, let's see if you remember how it goes, but you can try it along with me. So we're going to start with we are marching. Here we go. Two, three. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in So you can pick your favorite dance move. Um, mine would probably be this one. It's a pretty good dance move. Okay, so you're gonna dancing in the light of God. We are dancing in the light of God. Or you can do the disco, or you can floss, looking at you, Emery. Um, you can choose whatever dance move you want. So let's try it with dancing in the light of God, okay? Here we go, two, three. We are dancing in the light of God. 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 We are dancing. that we could do. We could do praying, we could do singing, we could do just walking, we could do biking. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that we could do in the light of God, right? Especially in this beautiful weather that we have. So here is my challenge to you. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to play it through. We're going to do we are marching in the light of God, we are dancing in the light of God, and then I I'm going to drop out singing, but I'm going to keep playing. And you're going to decide which one you want to do. So you can pick whichever one you want. And if you want to share it with me, I would love that. You can send me all of your suggestions. But so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do marching, dancing, and then whatever you want to choose. Okay? Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Two, three. We are marching.
birds are tweeting, so I think they liked it. Um, if you can't hear them, you're going to be like, Katie, what birds? You're crazy. There's a bird feeder right outside the door. So, um, send me whatever you think we're doing in the light of God, and maybe next week we can explore some of those. Um, but for right now, that's all we're going to do with this song. Okay, so for our second song of the weekend, we are going to bring back an old favorite, Praise the Lord with Trumpet Sounds. Remember, we have our trumpets. So let's review. Remember, this one, you repeat after me for the first three lines, and then we all come together for the final bit. So let's review. I start. Praise the Lord with trumpet sounds. Trumpet sounds, alleluia, 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 amen. Okay, let's try that all together with the piano. Praise the Lord, I get to start. Praise the Lord with trumpet sounds. smarty pants will remember that the next one up is a big bass drum so we get to do praise the lord with a big bass drum do, 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 do. okay and then when we get to the final bit we have the big bass drum you repeat big bass drum then i go trumpet sounds trumpet sounds trumpet sounds okay so let's see if we can remember to do that so we start with big bass drum and then we'll switch to trumpet when we get there okay here we go, big bass drum. Praise the Lord with a big bass drum. Big bass drum. A big bass drum. Trumpet sounds. Trumpet sounds. Alleluia, 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 amen. Okay. The third one that we're going to do right now is dancing feet. So let's try that. And then remember, we go through dancing feet, big bass drum, trumpet sounds. Okay. So let's do dancing feet. Praise the Lord with dancing feet. So you could probably hear that, but that's okay. So that is our review of that song. Kind of like with We Are Marching in the Light of God. If you want to send me some of your um, things that we're going to do, that we're going to praise the Lord with. I know we've done the floss before, so you don't have to send that one in. All right. Um, but th be creative. What can we praise the Lord with? So please send those in to me and I will see, well, you'll see me next week. Hey everyone and welcome back. Thanks so much for your great singing again this week. Today I want to send you with a challenge and it's a fun challenge, a simple challenge, but it's one that you will need some help from your parents to do. Today I want you to light a candle. When you light, when you light this candle, I want it to be a reminder of God's presence with you always, of the Holy Spirit's presence with you always. You can pray with the candle lit. You can just enjoy your time together. But today I want you to light a candle as a reminder of God's presence with you always. And so we're going to send each other off today with a prayer. So this is going to be a repeat after me prayer. Dear God, thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for being with us always. Thank you for making us your church. And all God's children said, Amen. 
Thank you all so much for another wonderful week of Sunday school. Have a wonderful celebration of Pentecost today. We'll see you next time.